11 out of their homes and into a cardboard box. It's reality for students at a local school as they take a hands-on approach to learning. Nine on your side's Roseanne Aragon is live outside Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy tonight where these kids are just getting ready for bed after having to make a home out of a cardboard box. Roseanne? Julie, can you imagine sleeping in one of these the entire night? That's what these students have to do, and they're just getting a glimpse of some of the real-life challenges many people face every day. Some tape in a cardboard box. This is home. This is it. Well, I'll put a pillow down and I'll have a blanket, but it's cold. It is dirty. There's bugs and... Trust me, I do not like bugs. Emma Parker is one of 32 students saying goodbye to the comforts of home. For the next two days, she'll get a glimpse of what it's like not to have a roof over her head. Believe it or not, these students are going to sleep in homes like this throughout the entire night. Then they're going to wake up and go to class. Homeless people sometimes cannot even find a shelter like a box. What this shows you is just how uncomfortable it is and uh, how cold it will get at night, but sometimes conditions are way worse. A soup kitchen dinner, a night outdoors, and education. We took a tour of Over the Rhine and so learned about um, recent developments down there, learned a little bit more about the history behind Over the Rhine, and we talked to a woman who was previously homeless. When you think about homelessness, you see one or two people outside with boards. But when you go downtown, you see that it's uh, way more than that. In Cincinnati, 25,000 people experience homelessness a year. In 15 years, the homeless population has increased by 150%. A lot of the times, um, the minimum wage is too low. Well, that's currently a big problem downtown. Um, unaffordable housing is a really big issue, and there's a lot of open space that's not being used. The goal is to teach students a lesson they can't learn in the classroom. I absolutely think that this has had an impact on me. Again, these students will be here all night. Now, organizers tell me this exercise isn't supposed to be an exact true to life situation, but it's just supposed to give students an idea. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, nine on your side. So